it occurred to me some people might be a little perplexed at those toddy videos but essentially toddy put out a very bad video lying about me and one of the subjects technically too was serge delmar being trustworthy and toddy was very upset i used serge's last name apparently that's forbidden territory i will do more on toddy lying about me and listen it's fine beyond a certain point i'm just going to disprove what is said but if you want more extra toddy skepticism i will do that on the patreon i'm setting that up if you want more detailed criticisms i will do that there basically the issue is don't say the last name well that happened here actually in regard to the sptv foundation they did use his last name in fact it got even worse somebody putting a positive comment on toddy's video did that i think that's i think that's serge delmar don't get me don't get me uh don't quote me on that i'm not 100 percent sure Liz Gale, uh, Reese Quibble, and your lawyer friend, Zach, or not my lawyer friend, but, you know, probably some of you guys' friend, lawyer friend, Zach Morgan. He will be, I'm sure, the uh, counsel for this charity. Uh, and Juliana saying um, that, yes, I've searched. Well, the main focus of this video is on the SPTV Foundation, but I don't quite understand what Toddy is talking about. People have been using Serge's last name for a long time. So, again, this is the main problem with that video. He's just insanely ignorant. He seems to just be taking the cover story. Serge is good. Nora is good. Aaron is good at the basic level because they're, quote, transparent. So, Toddy did criticize Aaron. That's fine. But Toddy is just not very well informed at a deeper level. And that really shows in that video. And that kind of shows here with the composition of the board. So, some people are reporting that the foundation has been denied. As far as I know, Aaron has said, no, it's going to be up and running soon. So no worries about it actually coming into being. And this apparently is going to be the board. So what can we think and what should we think? Well, I can only give my own personal judgment, which is shared by Alonzo and a few other people that um, this is a very corrupt board. All these people have some ties to Aaron. And it seems to be the criteria mainly is friends or YouTubers he's allied with and uh, in fact the one or two only good bright spots here are really jenna and zach like jenna is i think a very good ethical person but as she has stated herself personally she's out of the fight she'll show up for a few protests she'll come back in now and again but she's really focused on raising her family so the danger is she might rubber stamp things because she, quote, she trusts these people but that was not a good decision to rubber stamp now, Zach technically is a good choice because he's independent of Scientology, period, right? He was not a Scientologist. He was never into Scientology, etc., etc. But again, he's friends with Aaron. People are touting this, well, at least we have good legal counsel. Well, maybe, maybe not. But even if we put aside, he'll give credible legal advice. That's fine. Again, will he know what he's talking about or doing because... He doesn't have real expertise in Scientology, which I would have to say I do. So he might not understand certain things because Scientologists and ex-Scientologists have a very specific language they speak. And if you don't know that language, you may get bamboozled. Even the bright spots here are people who may, again, even with good intentions, get fooled into signing off on very questionable policies. So the main problem with Rinder and the Aftermath Foundation was really twofold. One, the way they got the power was pretty immoral and unethical. That said, as an organization, however, it's not clear they made a bad choice because good or bad, the organization is sustaining itself. So the bad thing with Render, of course, is his OSA past and his tendency to dominate people. However, as an organization, the Aftermath Foundation has moved on and they're sustaining themselves. That brings the second half. Okay, even if by a miracle, Aaron's foundation experiences no scandals which unfortunately it does because a lot of people here have a lot of scandals i've already covered some of them i could cover more but inside the scandals is this going to be an effective organization certainly a lot of people are going to like it because aaron has a good brand name and some of these people have good brand names so we'll have visibility and some people will sign up they'll volunteer okay that's fine so at least some people will be helped but are they going to be good at helping i mean aaron has nominated himself the president but is he a good organization man? There's no evidence he is. He has a background in businesses, but that's not what people think. Like, his business pass is a little fuzzy. That's not me attacking Aaron. It just is the case. He's a fuzzy guy there. Again, his background has been kind of a huckster background. 
it's not been I'm a great quote effective manager. It's just he's good at selling things. He's good at getting clients. But the question here is, is it going to be good as a foundation, as a charity, as a neutral place to help people? That's a big question mark. Just a lot of questions with this new foundation and where it goes. And then there's a final criticism, which is more superficial, perhaps, is that, uh, yeah, the name is really confusing. And frankly, it's going to really probably upset a lot of people who want to take anti-Scientology seriously. And probably a lot of neutral people on the outside are going to be, what the hell is this thing? Is this like a TV station? This is an entertainment corporation. It's like, oh, no, this is just a catchphrase, right? It's not a trademark or anything. It's just SBTV is what people call themselves or tell themselves. And you have to explain the whole thing. Like, oh, it's suppressive TV. You know, it's like they're making fun of Miscavige. A lot of people are just going to look at sideways like this is a joke, right? <laughs> this is not we can't take this seriously. And that will affect funding, right? If this is not really a serious board with serious people, it's going to it's going to get dismissed by potential allies. So uh, at this stage, it's fairly corrupt. Maybe. They will be able to minimize that corruption, but not going in the right direction. That said, at least some people will be helped. That's the best thing we can say at this moment for SPT Foundation, which, yeah, even saying it just sounds so silly, but that is the path Aaron has chosen, at least for now. We'll have to wait and see.